Ciao, in this lesson I'm gonna teach you the plural in Italian. I'll try to keep it simple and give you some general rules, but if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. Anyway, if you don't know me, I'm Ambra and I make a new Italian lesson every week. So make sure you subscribe if you want to learn Italian in a simple and practical way. And now let's begin. In today's lesson, I'll give you some simple guidelines to change words to plural in Italian. These are only general rules and you'll find some exceptions, but it's a good starting point. Basically, to get the plural of a noun, we look at two things. The way the word ends, so its last letter, and its gender, that can be masculine or feminine. Anyway, note that to fully understand today's topic, you need to know what the word gender is in Italian, so check out this lesson before you move on. With this being said, let's start with the plural of the names ending with the vowel A. A. If they are masculine, in the plural they will end in I. E. While if they are feminine, they will end in E. E. Let's look at some examples. These are all masculine words. Problema, which is the problem, becomes problemi. Pilota means pilot, and in the plural form is piloti. Then pijama, that's the pajamas, becomes pijami. And pianeta, which is the planet, in the plural is pianeti. Problemi, piloti, pijami, pianeti. These are instead feminine names. Porta is the door, and in the plural is porte. Sorella means a sister, and if you have more than one, you have to say sorelle. Palestra is the gym, and its plural form is palestre. And the last one is tazza, cup, that in the plural becomes tazze. Porte, sorelle, palestre. Let's see now the names that end with the vowel E, which in Italian is E. These are very easy because in the plural you always replace the E with an I, no matter the gender. So for instance, cane is the dog and becomes cani in the plural. Colore means colors and in the plural is colori. Then we have fiumi, that's the plural form of fiume, which means a river. And last example, piede is the foot, but fit is piedi. Cani, colori, fiumi, piedi. The following words are feminine, but in the plural they also end in I. Chiave is the key and Chiavi are the keys. Stazione refers to the train station and in the plural becomes stazioni. Ape means be and its plural is api. Then stagione is the season and stagioni are the seasons. Chiavi, stazioni, api. Stagioni. The next group of words is even easier. They end in I and in the plural they don't change. Generally they are feminine and not so popular. Let's see some examples. As I said, there are not many masculine words in this category, so I'll only give you one example which is brindisi. Brindisi means a toast. As you can see, it doesn't change in the plural. Brindisi. Let's move on to the feminine words that are more common. Here you are. Analisi, that's the analysis. Analisi. Crisi, means crisis. Crisi. Ipotesi, which is a theory. Ipotesi. Finally, metropoli is for referring to a very big city. Metropoli. Analisi, 
crisi, ipotesi, metropoli. The words that fall in the next category are generally masculine and they end with the vowel O. In the plural form, they change the O to an I if masculine, while the feminine names can get an I or keep the O, where the second option is the most likely. Let's clarify with some examples. The following words are all masculine and hence they end with an I in the plural form. For instance, Libro is the book and becomes libri. Negozio means shop and in the plural is negozi. Bacio is a kiss and if you give many they are baci. Then gatto in the plural is gatti and means cat. Libri, negozi, Baci, gatti. Before we move on, watch out this one. Zio, zio, that's the uncle. In the plural is zi, zi. Okay, let's go ahead with other examples. There are not many feminine words ending with an O. Anyway, these ones are pretty common. Mano is the hand and in the plural becomes mani, mani. The next three don't change in the plural form. Foto, metro, moto. These words mean foto, underground, and motorcycle. Mani, foto, metro, moto. Let's move on to the nouns ending in ka or ga, which are usually feminine. In the plural form, they keep the hard sound, and that's why you need an H in between the C or G and the vowel. Look at the following examples. As I said, typically the names in this category are feminine, however, this is a common masculine word. Collega, collega. In the plural becomes colleghi, colleghi, refers to a male colleague. The feminine words in this group are definitely more and here you are some examples. Mucca is the cow and in the plural becomes mucche. Amica means a female friend and if you have more than one they are amiche. Tartaruga is the turtle and tartarughe is the plural. Then we've seen already collega, that becomes colleghe if refers to female colleagues. Mucche, amiche, tartarughe, colleghe. We are almost there, don't give up now. The next ones are only masculine and they end in co or go. In the plural, they can either keep the hard sound and end in chi and ghi, or they can get a soft sound, which is chi and g. Let's see some examples. First, we we'll look at some words that keep the hard sound in the plural. Gioco means game, and its plural is giochi, giochi. Bosco is the wood and in the plural becomes boschi, boschi. Then lago is the lake and laghi are the lakes. Lago, laghi. Albergo means hotel and its plural form is alberghi, alberghi. Giochi, boschi, laghi, alberghi. These other examples instead lose the hard sound in the plural form. Amico is a male friend and in the plural becomes amici, amici. Medico means a doctor and its plural form is medici, medici. Psicologo is the psychologist and if there are many they are psicologi. 
psicologi, psicologi. Finally, asparago is the asparagus and in the plural you say asparagi, asparagi. Amici, medici, psicologi, asparagi. Ok, we've done the hard part. The last ones are very easy. When the last letter, always a vowel, has an accent, then the plural is the same as the singular form. So look at the following examples. They don't change in the plural form. Menù, caffè, papà, lunedì. Menù, caffè, papà, lunedì. These words mean menu, coffee, daddy, and Monday. The next ones are feminine. Città is the city. Età means age. Novità is the news. And verità is the truth. Città, età, novità, verità. Finally, the last group is for words that end with a consonant. They are not many and usually they come from a foreign language. They don't change in the plural form. So, for instance, bar, computer, hotel, sport. A bar is a coffee shop and the other words mean the same as in English. Bar, computer, hotel, sport. To finish up, I just want to mention a couple of exceptions. Here they are. Uomo, uomo means man and change completely in the plural, that is uomini, uomini. Braccio, braccio is the arm and its plural is braccia, braccia, not bracci. Uovo, uovo, which is the egg, in the plural is uova, uova, and not uovi. Finally, dito, dito is the finger, and fingers is not diti, but dita, dita. Uomini, braccia, uova, dita. Ok, that was definitely a lot. So check out the description below for a summary of this lesson and if you have any questions, please leave in the comment below. Ok, this is all for today's lesson. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to know more about Italian grammar, you can check out my previous videos on this playlist here. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll get notified every time I upload a new lesson. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Ciao!